I'm going to do an overview of pavers, concrete pavers, in uh, as a patio or driveway or walk surfacing. And I'm a landscape architect who's been doing this for 25 years or so. And pavers have really evolved. There's some amazing selections out there, uh, but there are some uh, things to be aware of so that you make a good choice if you're considering pavers. And so I just want to share with you some of the things we've uh, figured out uh, using these over the years as a design element. So one of the big benefits of pavers is that there are so many color and texture and pattern options. Um, they really give you a lot of variety in that regard in, in a way that concrete in itself poured in place could never do. Um, you're seeing some examples here and you're going to see that there's a lot of texture, color, and pattern varieties and uh, something for every taste really. Um, also they do not crack so they have a flexibility you can't get with concrete. Concrete uh, in time usually does crack to some degree so um, you're alleviating that problem when you're using the pavers. And also we find a lot of clients are phasing nowadays. They'll phase their landscape project and Let's say I want to put a patio in now, but maybe in a year or two when my budget allows, I want to add an arbor or shade structure over my patio. I can lift the pavers in that area to put the footings in through the patio, and that's something you can't do with concrete. So there are some flexibilities there. Even adding a pool later is something that um, can't really do well with concrete because the colors don't match with if you do it at a later date. So that's some of the positives. Uh, one of the challenges with um, pavers is the patterning. It's not everybody's taste. You know, if you're doing a really elegant, simple, large area, this can be a lot of pattern. And it's kind of like plaids and stripes. It's not everybody's taste. You know, it's, um, and it's also got to be style appropriate. So depending on the style of the home and what else is happening, that's something we always look at. The other thing is, is like in this photo right here, you've got a barbecue with vertical stone on it that's already got a pattern. So now when you put a um, pattern next to it, here's a better idea in my opinion with the stucco is you've got something quiet paired with the patterning of the paver. And I always think that's a better idea. So stylistically, be thinking about what you're wanting to pair this with because um, it doesn't go with everything and uh, just like when you're putting your clothes on in the morning you know certain things just don't go well together so we don't want to force fit a solution um, if you if you do really love the pavers then I would reverse engineer that and make sure that your other selections go well with the pavers that you really like another thing that you want to consider is how is this being viewed for instance, in the front yard, if I do a driveway, the uh, driveway has the backdrop of the home. And um, so architecturally, it needs to relate to what it's surrounded by. In the backyard, if I've got, um, you know, the backdrop when I look out is more the um, landscaping with plants and such, then maybe an earthier kind of feel and color is more appropriate. And also you want to connect it obviously to the landscape design style you're doing. So again, make sure that all these things are being considered. Don't just pick a paper, a paver in a, in a vacuum, but really kind of zoom out and think about the different things that are in play here. Because um, at the end of the day, it's the floor. It's not the show. It's a floor for the rest of your landscaping. And for me, like this one right here, I like how subtle the colors are. When you get too colorful and try and treat it like a wall inside of a house or something, it can seem a little out of place, if not a little out of place, um, in a landscape situation. So some of these earthier tones like you see here with grays and browns and tans, they seem to fit nicely in a landscape setting. I think some of the colors they've come out with, I mean, I've even seen green, um, for me, they're just too much, and uh, really light colors can also be a bit much. So um, consider all that, and then patterning. If I've got a pattern that has a really dark color and some really light colors, as you, I'll show you in one of these other photos, 
I find that a bit poppy or textury, um, visual texture I call it. And again, um, I like more subtle variation between the colors in a pattern. Um, so I'm showing you these different ones that are at a retailer that sells that because I just want you to see this, um, so how many options there are. But really the way to figure this out is go to a local supplier like you see here where they've displayed the pavers and then if you start zeroing in on one that you like a lot, see if there's any way to see a, a completed job with it. Because as you can see here in these bigger areas, they just all have such a different feel one to the next. And um, it's a lot to look at once you've committed to it. So you want to do everything you can in advance to get it right. The last thing I want to talk about is the way uh, pavers are contained and why they work the way they do structurally. So if you look at this one, actually I want you to look at the colors, how there's really light ones and really dark ones. I don't care for this myself, I find it too busy. Uh, but what I really wanted you to look at is the paving edging. See how on part of this you have concrete and the other you on that walkway you have pavers as the edgers. We do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, pavers don't have the best edging for stair nosing. So here you see that we used, whenever we have stairs, we use concrete as the stair edging. But also we use it as the border for containment. It gives it a more defined look. Um, and that's not always what you want. So if you only want that for the stairs, then we do that. But then this next one you're going to see a little more understated look here is where the pavers are used as the border. But those pavers on that border underneath have a concrete border that I think is about six inches deep um, by the width of the paver with, paver with two pieces of rebar running through its length. This is how you contain pavers and keep them stable. That with the sub base, and that's another thing. But you know, don't you, in my opinion, I do not recommend using um, the, uh, the plastic edging that has long nails uh, nailed into the landscape. We've had terrible luck with that, and eventually those move and you lose containment, and then the pavers start to shift around on you. So I highly recommend you use a concrete containment system for the edge of your paving. The last thing I want to address is people have a concern about weeds and moss growing in between pavers. Fortunately, they've developed what they call polymeric sand, which you see here, and it for essentially forms a grout. It's got a cementing agent in there, and it's just like having grout in between tiles, so it's too hard and non-porous for weeds and or moisture to sit in, so um, they've taken care of that. And uh, if you see older jobs that have weeds and moss, that's before they developed this product or somebody hasn't used it and they've only used sand in those joints. And I highly recommend this product. It works great and I think you can get different colors as well. One last thing, um, some people like to seal pavers. You can see this job has been sealed. You see kind of a gloss to it and a deeper color versus the next one that hasn't been sealed. I'm not a big proponent of sealing. Uh, concrete doesn't really need it. It's just a look. So um, the problem I have is that if you do it, uh, you've kind of bought into that long term and it's just added maintenance that the pavers really don't need. So understand that your pavers don't need that. They'll hold up just fine without it. It's more of a preference thing and uh, you're buying some ongoing maintenance. So that's what I can tell you about pavers. Hope that helps. Enjoy.